Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Pillars of Eternity. As you wish. Okay, so this didn't work out flawlessly. Um so I think perhaps we're gonna try out this uh this new uh, companion thing. Um uh, make a new companion. So let's see. Can I talk to you? Yes I can. Well met friend. Uh I could use some help. Let me see what I have to work with. Okay. So we could go for straight up for level two for five hundred. Don't have the money, but I believe I still have something in my yes. Uh, actually got lots of armor here, so we're gonna sell all of this. Uh, I think we are going to keep those. Uh, we can sell these uh, and a torch. Ah, and. Yes, don't need those. Um, let's trade. Perfect. Uh, then we could actually go for level 2, just straight up. I don't see uh, why not. Okay, so this time we're going for a female. Uh, let's see, might and resolve, just straight up might, might and constitution. Dex of uh, perception, uh, resolve and perception, and dex and intellect. Uh, I think we're gonna go for elf. Let's see, we have pale elf and wood elf. Uh, distant advantage against enemies that more than four away. Interesting. Getting accuracy, deflection, and reflex. Not bad. And uh, elemental endurance. Uh, increase burn and freeze damage. No, we're gonna go for the wood elf. I think uh, she's gonna be our backline. Um, let's see. Uh, priests uh, generates the modest amount of endurance for allies around the priests. Enemy caught in area take burn damage may be frightened. Interesting. And spells. Uh, variety of support and offensive oriented spells. A two level priest that might gain access to additional self spells. Uh, limit to times per rest, but as she gains power, she eventually shifts to per encounter. Interesting, but very low stats. I get the uh, athletic and lore. Um, let's see. Chanter. I can. Can speak chants made of magical phrases? So this looks like a bard. Uh, cipher. Cipher can directly target allies and enemies with powerful soul focus effects. This power goes focus, which uh, Cipher builds for the use of soul whip. Ah, uh, interesting. And Druid is shapeshifter and got some spells. Uh, Okay. Um. And ranger got animal companion. Um, I think we're gonna go for priests. Um, so let's see. Stoic and rational. Uh, benevolent and honest. Aggressive, clever. Says a crew. I think we're gonna go for Barath. Okay. Uh, oh, so might also increases healing. Interesting. Uh, so I could get some some might up to fifteen, I think. Uh, intellect uh, seventeen for that uh, AOE and duration. Uh, could use some resolve, I think. Uh, and 
some dexterity and perception. Okay. Um, let's see. You get resolve, dexterity, um, resolve, intellect, constitution, might, and perception. Uh, Crown jewel of the sudden seas. It's crumbling roman of an empire. Merchant no nation. Uh, counting many humans and dwarfs among the ranks. Uh, that's Savannah's thing. I think we can go for the living land. Uh, it gives one might, which is not bad. Uh, I really think it fits with uh, with the wood elf. Uh, so let's see. Um, don't really need survival. I think. Um, so these are the same. I think you can be an, a scientific priest. Yeah, I like that. Lower mechanics. Uh, so let's see. Uh, primary color can be white, and secondary is going to be dark purple, I think. Uh, and like so. Um, I like your face. I like your hairstyle. That's it's nice. Uh, you can go through and just see. Uh, so ten. Um, no. 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 I think we're gonna go for that. Portrait. Um, oh, that. Oh, oh. Fascinating. Um, oh, we're gonna uh, go for this one. Okay. Uh, next. Voice. Leading the way. Let us end this quickly and quietly. Well, now I am leader of the group. Shh. I'm here. I'm flattered. Let's go. I'll take a peek. Yeah. No, we're gonna go for for this one. Yes. And uh, your name's gonna be Mara. Mara the Priest. Aren't you level two? Uh, oh, okay. So you get level up. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so you have three lore, one athletic, one mechanic. Uh, let's just see. Uh, yes. Um, How may I help? What do you have? Uh, seven lore. Um, but you can also use lore. And I think perhaps we're gonna make you a main lore guy. And not so much mechanics. Uh, okay. So, um, I can just go straight up for mechanics. Sure. Uh, oh. Um, once per encounter, a we burn. Uh, days. Uh, Road. Uh, so less less healing, but more of everything stat-wise. Uh, plus ten accuracy. Uh, that might not be too bad. Let's see what do we got. So, okay, so these are the same. 
these are the same and these are the same uh one per rests health uh, or self um no, I think we're gonna go for the inspiring radiance one per encounter sure and she's done um let's see our stash is almost emptied uh, let's see what you have light armor and a great sword huh so didn't really need to buy that great sword but you're not going to use that um so i think for now you can actually use the bow and then i have this and we can we can give you a cape a nice white cape nice uh, and ah, yours really not that nice anymore. So you need a new cape. Um, yeah, I think I think you're good. Uh, all these are medium armor, uh, and you're gonna have. Uh, you're gonna keep this okay and I'm gonna give you some block picks uh, and then I think we're good what is it so um as you wish we could rest now and get the health but I think because you have you have spell that gives health back uh, just have to use it in. But you can wait. Uh, just gonna see. Uh, it gives. If you to cast it, no, it's only. Only and it's temporary. So. Not what I hoped Are it you? was. You have. Uh, just endurance. Um. So yeah. I think we're gonna rest now just to be full health before we start the of course dungeon again. How do you do? I'd like a room. Um uh, I'm just gonna go for a straight up common room, not use much coin there. But it's still a nice room. Don't mind that. Some some fire going. Oh. Uh your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxious. You open your eyes to waken and find yourself in front of Gilded Whale's gallow tree, the crackling sound of its ropes growing louder in your mind till the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face has shivelled inwards like mouldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side. As you look at her, she looms larger and larger in your mind, until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly, her head snaps up and her eyes open. They are empty, and behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth slowly apart, and with a gust of radiant air, she speaks a word. Watcher! You jolt awaken. The foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets, and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her, the king face, when you spoke with the magister. He called her an animancer. Thought, though it fills you with new, queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, if only to confirm she is truly dead. Interesting. Okay. Um so yeah. Let's let's meet up with this uh, old dwarf woman. Uh and then we're gonna head 
down here. So, hello? That, oh, you're glowing now? The squat distended body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin crook board that stag at the thug of her nose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck worn away in patches like moth-eaten linen bulges over a rope that squints her and her lifeless head lolls forward wiggly from one side to another when the breeze shifts. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light and its surroundings on its surroundings. There is a temp warmth with to it, and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it. Not with your hand, but with some aspect of yourself that has no worldly dimension. Reach out for the woman. You take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective. As you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out toward the hanging woman, preserving all that lies between you and her with you new unfamiliar awareness. Once you have expanded enough, enough to reach her, there is a sudden jolt in your mind, ringing electric surge of images and words and sound. Involuntarily, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space between you and the hanging woman. And when you open them again, she is staring at you with wide, with eyes clouded in a milky fog. Her body is still swinging in the wind, you no longer feel from a tree standing planted in a misty void. The woman gives you a slow nod of her head, the rope crackle as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, it is both, I think. Yes? How are you able to speak to me? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. Am I imagining this? No, I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy even. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I, wherever here may be. I need to understand something that happened to me. She nods, a look of pity on her face, as though consoling a child. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. She nods. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. A watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair, and here we are visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on, some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. Huh. A watcher sees though, knows what to look for, and sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. 
See memories even their honor can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! What do you mean, when all goes well? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. She smiles at you reassuringly, finding out the turf of long whiskers that sprouts from one of her cheeks. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. I think I survived the paywack. Do you know why that might be? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul, but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Cold them. Those days are all behind me, no? You said souls break apart over time. Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No. So... That might be why people are born hollow. A very small few resist Rimergan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. I want to know something else. Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. Who are you? And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, but I came here all the same because this was where help was needed. And what happened to you? She laughs, a rasping crooked crackle escaping between rows of buttery yellow teeth, causing her body to bob up and down with each spasm. Seeing your blank expression, she catches herself. <laughs> oh, come now, such a question, as though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance, a humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife, see why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months, looked high and low for impurities, tested her violence, the permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? Tell me. Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, uh, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. What is an animancer? A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are. But the best of us? The best? 
Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met. Empty inside. It was an Enomancer who helped one find the other. Turned their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things, but their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. I had some other questions. Of course, dear. Uh, no, I didn't. Farewell. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Cassandra closes her eyes, and her head slumps forward over the noose. And your surroundings seem to bleed into your vision from some unknown place of waiting. Grant the crucible of the soul. Aleph looks at you through narrow eyes. Are you alright? You seem lost now. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. He folds his arms. That's good to know, but I don't suppose you could tell me what that was all about. I think I'm a watcher. His arch eyebrows reel into his hood. Well, that is interesting. He gives you a sly grind. And I expect that explains your earlier positions about your experience in the ruins then. Hmm? In any case, I appreciate, appreciate your honesty. Since we're traveling together, it's probably wise for us to share these things. Do you know anything about Watchers? Only that they're rare and that they seem to have unique insight into certain soul conditions, he calls. As you just demonstrated. Let's continue on. And we'll end there, folks. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.